Hello everybody, Skyliner Zeon here, and welcome to a new Imaginator video, where today we're going to be making an undead swashbuckler. So, let's get started. Welcome to the Creation Crystal Portal Master. Here, you can create your very own Imaginator. So, this one is kind of to, like, challenge me in a sense, because I don't really enjoy making undead characters, and I don't really enjoy making swashbucklers, so this is kind of just to, like, see what I can do with what I'm worst at, you know? Does that make any sense? Maybe, probably not, but whatever. So, as always for me, I'm gonna be starting with a name, just very simple, we're going to be getting a character that uh, I should call Skelger. So, this is obviously Skeleton plus Soldier, just, you know, simple enough. Like, I will say, the reason I don't really enjoy making undead characters is because it feels like they all have to fit into a very specific theme that, like, it feels like it limits your creativity, almost. So, like, whenever I make an undead character, it's almost always a skeleton. So just, like, personally, I know I need to work on that, but, uh, that's not the point of this video, necessarily. So, for ears, do we really need ears for a skeleton? I say no. Um, chest... What chest works for what I'm going for? Because obviously, a skeleton soldier, what is fitting? I feel like we can just use some armor right there. Nice. Then, I feel like fossil bone arms are an obvious choice, but... Let's see. Okay, regular skeleton arms, another obvious choice. But what is a not as obvious choice? Um, I think chainmail works, especially given the suit of armor we've already given him, kind of. This is another reason I don't like making swashbucklers, because, uh, tails. I know, obviously, ninjas don't have torsos, but the fact that swashbucklers have to have tails has always bothered me so much more. Like, there are very few tails, and most of them, admittedly, aren't even that good. So, yeah. But, now that we've got our basic character designed, I'm gonna get him to level 6, and we'll get the actual gear. Okay, so we've got him to level 6, let's just finish up adding the gear. So, let's get the... hmm. I feel like Doomed Skeleswords are a good option, definitely. And it doesn't seem like I've unlocked the ones that I did want to use, because I really don't feel like grinding parts on this game. Yes! So, might as well just go with the obvious. Then, let's see. Headgear... okay, no. Just want to get something somewhat subtle here, not a huge thing. Uh, no. You know, that actually doesn't look terrible, but still not- okay. You know, that's definitely an option. If I had completed Nightmare Mode on this file, then I'd probably use the thing from that- You know, I think this works. I'm gonna keep looking, but if not, then... Yeah, I think this is a good option. Then, let's see, for our shoulder pads, let's just go with a basic... Huh. I really, really do need to put more time into unlocking the parts, it's just so tedious. Okay, let's just go with ornate knot, sure. Arm guards... We can go for something a little basic. Let's just go Dragon Scale Arm Armor. <laughs> Light Guards literally just get something with good stats, because, uh, why not? Let's see. You wanna go for speed? 
Okay, most of these are for speed. Let's go with Dragon Head Greaves. Um, Tailed Cape, yeah. Okay. There you go. Skelger is complete. Except I do want to change one part. Because, obviously, we've got the, like, bluish-gray for the face. I want to make the shoulder guards, or arm guards, that same color. I want to say it was, like, this shade? Something like that? Close enough, if not. But yeah, there you go. Skelger has been completed. I hate auras, so we're not doing that. And let's go with our powers. I think Charger works just fine. I think... Yeah, let's go with Last Laugh. Then, do we want to do Crisscross? Do we want to do something else? Let's go with Takedown. I think that's fitting for an undead character, you know, like, rising up from the ground and all that. And there you go. We do have a brain quest here, so that's why our Rupker's here. I have been officially banned by the Arena Battle Commission from competing in this event. I guess my lava barbs are not considered a legal attack. But hey, you're not a lava barber, right? Maybe you could step in and show these punks how non-banned Skylanders take care of business. And we're back. Okay, let's just get right to it, shall we? Okay, and let's go. So obviously, we've got our basic slashes, which are extremely fast and extremely useful. Like, this is great for applying a lot of pressure to enemies and just, you know, if this, if there was a battle mode in this game, I could see this being one of the most broken moves. Then, yeah, just... Overall, Swashbucklers, while it's my least favorite class overall, they definitely know how to do damage. Just really have to appreciate that. Imaginators in general are extremely powerful, but like, Swashbucklers in particular, fast damage is great. So, for our next attack, we've got the takedown. You know, just teleport a bit and then... You know, reappear, do damage, all that fun stuff. It's definitely good for evading enemies, good for quick damage. Just, like, you know, teleport on over and then start slashing. Easy. Like, there's a lot of movement potential until you die. When you die, you kind of limit your movement potential. So, uh, back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, we've got one more attack to show off. We've got... The last laugh move, which is great for just a lot of damage, and it's pretty spammable. Just overall, this character definitely has a lot of damage output, and just... I, as much as I don't enjoy creating undeads or swashbucklers, I do think that this moveset turned out very well. Just, it's very fun to use, just fun to mess around with, and yeah. So, thanks for watching, and peace out.